Biggity bam! GTA 5 hits next gen. Finally, on November the 18th, 100 new tracks, new cars, new activities, cats, furrier dogs. It's all here in today's special GTA 5 o'clock. Hi, I'm Dan Dawkins for GTA 5 O'Clock. Unfortunately, no James Jarvis today. In the tradition of the show, as always, the biggest news drops when one of the team is on holiday or otherwise predisposed. James is putting up a tent somewhere in Cornwall, somewhere as we speak. Please don't go and find him. But the good news is GTA 5 is rocking onto next gen on November the 18th as we tipped on the show only days earlier. Now, lots to talk about, loads of new details, so we're gonna hit them up straight away. Big thing is, as we know already, increased draw distances and higher resolutions. That's obvious from the new trailer, that's obvious from the screenshots. We've got new activities, new weapons, new vehicles, again, we can see those in the screenshots, additional wildlife, denser traffic, a new foliage system, which again, you can see in the screens, enhanced damage and weather effects, and much more. Now that much more includes the enhanced radio selections with over 100 new songs. Yes, 100 new songs on top of what we already had, which is more than most games have on their own. New DJ mixes and the returning DJs from the game's 17 radio stations. It's, you know, a really incredible sweep of stuff. Now all players who pre-order the game will receive one million dollars. Sadly, not one million real dollars, but one million GTA dollars to spend in GTA 5 and GTA Online. Now there's a host of new exclusive content for people who are returning from the PS3 and Xbox 360 versions, including rare versions of classic vehicles to collect, and that includes things such as the Dukes, the Dodo Seaplane, and a faster, more maneuverable blimp, which is quite a relative concept but at least they've acknowledged it wasn't that much use before. Now there's new activities, which includes wildlife photography and a new shooting range challenge, new weapons, and much, much more. Now GTA Online gets enhanced as well, not least, again, as we predicted, with an enhanced player count, and it's going up to 30 players online. Even more good news is that if you spent ages leveling up and ranking up your character on PS3 or 360, all of that can transfer across to PS4, Xbox One, or PC. Yes, now the big elephant in the room is the PC release date. The PC version is coming out later than the other versions on Jan 27th, 2015. Now there isn't any official explanation for that just yet. Now again, it wouldn't be unprecedented for a PC version to be further behind. It could be that there's gonna be a further suite of changes in that game. It could be it's got an enhanced video editor, much like the previous version of GTA 4. We're yet to find out, but you know, or maybe is, as uh, someone in our office noted, I'm like, well, the editor of PC Gamer, so we would say this, um, it looks so amazing on PC, they didn't bring it out at the same time as the PS4 versions. So I laughed when he said that, but in all seriousness, the PC version should look on Mac settings absolutely sensational. And when the modders get to work on it, we're gonna be looking at effectively a dry run for PlayStation 5, you know, or beyond potentially. So, you know, that's really exciting news. Now we're gonna save a proper trailer analysis and screenshot analysis for next week's GTA 5 o'clock on Wednesday at 5 p.m., including any new little tidbits of info that come out between then and now. But there are some things to note about the trailer very quickly. First thing was we tried to Shazam the uh, soundtrack, couldn't get a reading. Now that might be because there's so much uh, you know, speech on the actual soundtrack there. Or it could be because the track is one of Rockstar's in-house tracks and just hasn't been registered. They did use a lot of in-house dynamic music on the game itself, so that's entirely possible. Now, the thing that strikes me about the trailer is that, you know, hey, it looks amazing, the lighting's sensational, draw distances are great. The theme of the trailer is important in that it focuses on essentially the fringes of GTA 5, the unknown, the mysterious. Now, we've talked a lot on this show about the Great Mount Chiliad conspiracy, and whilst this doesn't overtly talk about that, it talks about everything around it, where there's references to the Epsilon Tract, you see a zombie, which again is an actor in main GTA 5, but it's still interesting they put it in. Aliens, the deep sea, we see like a whale going past. Uh, there's a, you know, a big hint about we continue the search for the truth. 
Now again, the truth has appeared in previous GTAs and was all about conspiracies. Rockstar know, again, what everyone is talking about and the mystery hasn't been solved is the Manx Chiliab Mule and the existence of a jetpack and like another layer of the game that hasn't been accessed. I think this trailer is very deliberately pointed at them and us to say, this is where you need to be. The mysteries continue and we'll get deeper. And I think, you know, hey, well done. That's got me excited, so it works. Uh, other things to note are the new dogs in the trailer. There's a little black and white dog with amazing fizzly fur. Uh, there's the huge muscly dude with his incredible veins popping out, which again is beyond anything we'd seen in the current gen or the old gen versions. And uh, look at Chop the dog, like his fur looks absolutely sensational. Plus we see a return of the sort of the drug fueled monkey. So loads more to talk about in next week's show. But yeah, as I say, I think this is the big, you know, tease for the game is only going to get deeper when it comes to mysteries. There are loads of reasons to come back to GTA, even for those who've caned the previous versions. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe for more brilliant news on GTA 5 on next gen in next week's show. Until then, thanks. Bye.